My friends, I want to welcome you back to my 200 3D CAD problems in FreeCAD YouTube series. Today I want to work on exercise 7. Exercise 7 is a very interesting one, definitely uh, more interesting than exercise 6, uh, that I can tell you. Uh, but it, it is interesting to me because the way I am planning to build it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with exercise 7. I already loaded exercise 7 on FreeCAD uh, and I'm going to take a minute to process the image real quick. So calibration I'm taking the longest distance that I can take which is 300 right I want to keep that on XY plane I already made it half transparent the next I want to adjust the center which is or evidently should be the center of the circle um, that we we easily can decide on this one all right all the image processing is done what I want to do is I want to build quarter of this this object and then uh, replicate it two more times so I want to build this part then I want to mirror it two times to build the entire thing. So it will be less sketching, but we will get the whole thing. So what I want to do is I want to build a sketch on XY plane. And I want to, well, before I start sketching, let's take a look at the overall image. So if I build the whole thing and there is a depression that I'll have to take care of, that's one thing. Or I can build the depression separately. So either way, it's a two sketch job. So what I want to do is I want to build the whole thing. So let's go ahead and take this arc taken care of. Maybe another arc to here. And what I want to do is I want to take care of this arc as well. And the other arc. All right. And apparently there is connecting part is also another arc and now I want to finish this off with closing this sketch three lines in total there so the sketching part is done now we have to apply the constraints and we have nine of them to worry about so first thing first, get, take care of this radius, which is the low hanging fruit that I want to take care of. So 75. And we will worry about that later. Right, what else? The inside diameter of this one is 50. So the radius would be 25. Okay. And this is radius 40. Right. And the height, the distance between these two, okay, we'll worry about that. How about this radius? Does it say anything about it? It does not. So the distance between these two center point is 150. And how about this? Okay. This diameter is 100, so radius will be 50. How about we apply some tangency across these two arcs right now we'll have to apply a radius on this one too I don't see a radius right now okay how about this distance the vertical distance between these two is 10 because the total distance is 20 okay we got that one taken care of now what so the only degree of freedom is this radius how about I make these two equal nope that doesn't that doesn't match so find that constraint delete that okay is there anything else that I'm missing Diameter is 136.5. That is all right. We will take a guess. 
So now it's almost where we want it to be. See actually what the radius is. This one. 104. Let's see if it is 100. That makes sense. 100 makes sense. So we build that sketch and I want to build it all the way by 20. All right? 20. Now what I want to do is I want to cut this depression away from here which would be diameter of 135. So what I can do is I can build a sketch at this height which is 10 from the center or like the origin. So I can build a sketch an offset I'll make it 10 okay I keep the XY plane and now how about I make I don't see that sketch for what I just drew because now the section view is on I can see that so because I'll be subtracting it I can build extra so I'll make it easy I'll just make this two all right and this diameter is given as 135.6 so the radius is 135.6 divided by 2 there we build that now I want to build that up by 10 right so here is the main part I want to keep this is the one that I want to delete so I select this and shift select this control select this and hit this part that's the intersection I want to make a cut all right that was easy so the, the quarter part that I was planning to build has been built and I'm going to rename that as quarter part what I want to do is I want to mirror it with this line which is okay which is I am going to say XZ plane so XZ plane okay so there is one quarter there is the second quarter I want to place them as a fusion and rename that as half part so there is the half part I want to mirror it again with YZ plane with this axis so yz plane cool so that's one half that's the second half and i want to make them one object and say full part oh that's a weird name say final object it looks broken so i can refine that part here perfect that's our object we could do it in one sketch we just did it quarter sketch so let's drawing and we applied some mirror tool there it is that's our object so what i want to do is i want to take this part and pick screen color okay maybe this part too this part and this part say pick screen color that's a little darker and yeah that looks fine to me that's that's our object that was fun i hope you liked it thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next one thank you bye